Okay guys, I'm sorry. The camera's probably gonna be moving a little bit this entire video because it is currently suspended from, I have a canopy bed, so I have yarn tied to parts of the canopy bed and my phone tied to that. So my phone is suspended midair because screencast wasn't working, so I decided to create my own screencast. So basically, American Girl just had a huge release and they changed the meat outfits and I think that should mean they changed prices, but I don't think they did. So I've already seen some of this stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at it now. First of all, I'll talk about these cards here. I love the new meat outfit just by itself, not necessarily with the extra jacket and shirt and things. I like her new loft bed, but it reminds me of something, I'll get to that. And I like Logan's new outfit because for those that own him, they finally have a new outfit for him. So let's get right into looking at the new stuff. Okay, so right off the bat, we have new items for the girl of the year, Gabriella. So let's see, for her loft bed, it reminds me of McKenna's loft bed. I know it's not necessarily the same, I think that's the last time we had a loft bed. And I did really like McKenna's loft bed a whole lot, but this one's $200, which is just too pricey for me. Um, the chair and ottoman set, I really like this set, but I've seen a um, like chair like this at Walmart or Target before, and it was a lot cheaper. Um, $75, I think it's just getting pricier, but um, yeah, the chair's really cute, and I like the ottoman. As for this performance outfit, it's not my favorite, but it does remind me of a dance outfit. Okay, the shoes are ballet slippers. I thought this looked like more of a tap outfit, but I haven't danced in years. Um, it's nice, nice construction. It looks like the top's real um, well constructed, and the skirt is very cute. Uh, I'm just not loving the color scheme, I think is my issue. They're separate pieces, so yeah. Um, Tenny's new outfit. Okay, I love these sandals, and I like this jacket, not loving this dress. Um, let's see, Logan's new outfit, loving the leather jacket. His jeans and shirt are nice, very versatile. Um, the boots, I don't know if they quite fit. Okay, now we're getting into the truly me. I don't know which ones are new and which ones are not new. Okay, so I think 66 through 69 might be the new ones. Let's take a look. Okay, um, this is 69. Once again, I'll go over the new meat outfit right now because I like it a lot. Um, I really like the floral dress. Um, oh, this is showing with accessories. Okay, as for the accessories, I like the outfit simplified down, as it is shown right here. When you add the accessories to it, which is, I think, the sweater, the um, leggings, I like it less. I think it's better the simpler the outfit is, for in this case. Um, but the sweater is very nice on its own. The leggings would be too. Like, it's, it's kind of like the accessories are giving you, like, another outfit you could do. I just wouldn't put it all together. Um, yes, this dress, I love this. I love this so much. I wonder if you can buy it by itself. I might be getting a new doll eventually, though, so maybe I'll get it. Um, sorry, my voice sounds kind of weird today. See, this is a very nice outfit on its own. I just don't think it all needs to be thrown together with the dress. And, of course, you have to have the pretend $5 like they've been doing. I love that. This reminds me of when I first started liking American Girl. Uh, the iPhone does not, because we didn't, there weren't iPhones for American Girls back then. But I'm happy that American Girl is making iPhones now, because mine are erasers that I use. The wallet's very nice, and you have an American Girl mini gift card in the wallet. Really cute touch. Pretty sure this girl is new. She has the Justina Hostafina face mold, and the layered wig that reminds me of Claire. I think it might be a little different than Claire's wig, though, because Claire's wig has shorter layers up here. Claire is number 39 if you're new to the channel. Um, she's very pretty. I like her a lot. Okay, I'm pretty sure she's new. Her face reminds me of a lot of the other dolls, but her wig looks to me new and very pretty. I really like that the dolls without hair 
are now part of the just regular Truly Me line and they're more available than and they're not like specialty dolls anymore. Do they? 47's hair looks different. I think it's just the way it's styled. And everyone's been talking about her, how, um, I think it's her hair is longer now, but other people are saying it's just because it's been curled differently. It looks like there's a new, like, travel slash hotel motif going on with the new release. Okay, when I saw this, my jaw dropped. I was in awe. I was so excited. Then I saw the price, and I was like, no, why? It's such a cute piece. I love it so much. I'm pretty upset that it's so expensive. Um... So yeah, here is the Grand Hotel. Yeah, this bed looks very nice. And it has a little mini like sink bathroom kind of area. This phone is very nice. It's lobby and this, it folds up, which I wish this plant was real. And it has coconut. The branding of coconut is coming back. I love coconut. Oh, I see. You can fold it up. Um. Wow, look at all these extras. Okay. Very nice. The bedding on here is really cute. I love this reversible quilt. The pillows. And the little, the mattress looks really well made too. Then this is like the various tables and ottoman and the front desk. like it. I think this folds up into, yeah, that. So you couldn't have the front desk scene and the hotel room scene all together in one. Overall, if it was like $100 cheaper, I would probably buy it. This luggage very much reminds me of Grace. Um, it's like the same color that her suitcase was, if I remember correctly. I love this luggage cart. Growing up, I watched The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. So, I don't know. Whenever I see luggage carts, I, that's pretty much what I think of. It has a little garment bag and a hanger. I wonder if it's tall enough that your doll could stand on it and scoot around like they did on Sweet Life. Little American Girl bag. And coconut! I wanted coconut so much when I first got into American Girl. He's so cute in his little bellhop outfit. Anyways, $50. Mmm, it's still a little much. I know it's American Girl. But I don't have a lot of use for a luggage cart, so I can't justify paying $50. At this point, I've just kind of come to accept American Girl's ridiculous prices. This travel and style outfit kind of reminds me of a trench coat, but like purple and a dress. But it's nice. Uh, it looks like it's made well. Um, the AG Grand Hotel service set looks pretty cool. It looks better than the breakfast and bed set that they used to have. Um... Yeah, it looks like you've got flowers and juice, bacon, cinnamon roll, fruits. Uh, yeah. Very nice. And the tray looks, it's plastic, I think, but it looks really good. Travel and style accessories. I'm loving this camera. I love doll cameras so much. This camera's very nice. I like the sunglasses. The neck pillow's cute. I love mini American Girl magazines. The random banana is interesting. I mean, I guess it's a quick snack. But yeah, this is pretty cute. $28. It's about a standard accessory set. Um, yeah, moving right along. Okay, I'm not loving this dress. I like that it has pockets, but I'm not loving the dress. I love these boots. I feel like this shirt and skirt don't look the best together on the doll. As for this outfit, I feel like the shirt and shoes go well together with maybe some jeans. I'm not loving this color with the green. I like the skirt and the shirt, like, individually. Um, not loving these jeggings. I wish they just added, like, some real denim capris. And, once again, I like those shoes. I don't like these tweed shorts very much, or this peplum top. They're just not my style. Next page. Sorry the camera's swinging. I sneezed, and so I made the setup kind of move. This combination almost works for me. I just feel like this shirt has so much pattern going on that it needs shorts with no pattern. Um, maybe some white shorts would look good with it. The classic knit sweater is a very nice piece. I'm not liking the corduroy pants. Once again, just not my style. That 
skirt. Looks like it could work for almost, it reminds me of Kanani, actually. These two remind me of Kanani. The jeggings, just, I, don't, I didn't like the way they looked on the doll. I like the flower skirt, maybe with a solid shirt of this color or this color, like the purple or the teal. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the corduroy dress. I just, I don't think I like the, cor the corduroy in this collection. I like the mixed knit sweater. I think that's cute. Don't like the tweed shorts. Like the moccasins and the boots. These remind me, they look like Grace's meat boots, maybe just recycled. New earrings. Claire has her ears pierced, so I might be buying these. They're $10. I like the stars. Ombre sunglasses, very nice, but remind me of like a strawberry and banana yogurt. Ah, uh, the all-star soccer outfit. Very nice. I used to play soccer. Um, taco lunch. The backpack set. Okay, is this like a phone or a tablet? Oh, this almost looks like something Leah had. A make-believe tablet. Interesting that they're implementing a tablet into the book bag now. Now, if the backpack was a different color, I think I would like the build of it, but I really don't like this color scheme. The locker is very plain, just the standard blue locker. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't pay your 60 bucks personally, just because I've seen many lockers other places like Claire's. I don't know if they have them anymore. It looks like it just slides up and then opens. Little mirror. The inside of the locker is nice. It does very much resemble a real locker, but yeah. I maybe 40 would be a more reasonable price point. This little hamster is so cute. I kind I honestly kind of want to buy it. Um it's $24. French bulldog, very much Grace. Um it's very cute. It just reminds me a lot of Grace. I think the color scheme is different. But the whole release, a lot of it reminds me of what they've done in the past, so almost like they're going back a little bit. Uh, the Tuxedo Cat, I, that's like Licorice. I have a version of Licorice the Cat already, so I probably won't be buying her even though she's cute. I have that Poodle. It's, I don't really buy the pet stuff very much. Oh, oh, I like that little AG with the little white terrier on it. That's cute. There's Z. So, my opinion on Z, I don't think I've said this before. I like that she's an AG tuber. Like, AG is kind of recognizing us a little bit. So that's nice. Oh, I like her. I really like this set. The filming accessories, I might just have to buy those sometime. And I like her dog as well. So, yeah. Very cute. I like her desk. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next page, even though I think I've already seen everything that will be there. Tinny Grant. Tinny... I don't know. I like her. She's alright. But she looks a lot like 24. So I probably won't be getting her because I've wanted 24 much longer. I almost bought her guitar last time I was at the AG place. I like this outfit. I'll probably buy that at some point while she is out. Because it would be a nice outfit for Nikki. Um, yeah. I almost bought this outfit too at the AG place. I don't remember if I actually ended up buying anything there. But I almost bought quite a few things. So at this point, my camera stopped recording. So I've just included this little picture of the doll that I'm probably going to get next. So yeah, bye guys.